Boju, everyone. Hi, this is Neshi Lokatz. Welcome to uh, Star Nation's organization's main fan page here at Facebook, where I have been um, offering a daily guided meditation for grounding, centering, and protecting. Um, and this is my way of uh, being of service to all of those who uh, find the times and the days that we live in right now, <laughs> that new energy out there, um, sometimes a little bit um, uncomfortable or a lot uncomfortable, and being grounded, centered, and protected certainly does help us get through our day and our evening. And so welcome everybody, and I'm so glad you could join me this morning. We are um, in our fourth week of um, providing these uh, guided meditations. And uh, I have to say that, um, yeah, I just love being with you guys. <laughs> yeah. And so before we get going too far down the road, uh, what I would like to do is um, send this live stream over to my newsfeed um, so that my friends um, know that I am um, live streaming. So hang on just a second, and I'm going to find our live stream. And I would invite you to uh, do the same. Or maybe you have a friend or a family member that you feel would uh, benefit from the information in the, um, the meditation. So I'm just going to send this over to my live stream and letting my friends know that it's meditation time. And let's see. There we go. And just asking them to please join us. There we go. Yeah. Hey, Christina's here. Hello, Christina. Good morning. Karen just popped in. Hello, Karen. We're just getting things sent out to friends and family. And so um, I'm going to send it over to a few people through Messenger, the ones that I promised <laughs> that I would let them know. And sometimes it's really just a reminder because, you know, we get so busy that um, time just kind of flies by. And uh, we were going to, we were going to come and we thought we got busy doing something, right? And actually this morning I am definitely sending it over to all of my sisters um, because there are some things that happened that I thought I would like to at least have them here um, in spirit. Let's see, where's Mimi? Mimi Kate. And I think I got Teresa. Let me, let me make sure. Yeah, I did. Good. All right. Good. Excellent. All right. So let's, uh, the reason why I, I wanted to make sure that my sisters were with us, even if it's in, um, in spirit, because some of them, you know, they're like, Teresa could be working and, um, Sharon is busy with uh, magazine stuff for me. So, um, yeah, I don't know if you guys noticed um, in the last couple of days, the energy um, was quite different, quite, quite different. And uh, many of us um, are experiencing what some may call um, ascension symptoms, right? So, you know, whether it's headachy or, of course, you know, tis the season for allergies, for allergies um, and so that is also out there but more more about the the um, feeling lots of, of um, aches or pains in your physical body right um, and so anyway we know that the the Schumann uh, resonance uh, the ampl amplitude was quite high in the last couple of days I think it was over a hundred and uh, now, the, the Schumann wave only goes up to 400, but the amplitude could go, and I think it's read as high as 170. Um, and I don't remember exactly what it was yesterday, but it was quite high. Um, and so uh, the, the great awakening. <laughs> I know all, a lot of us feel like we've been on pause, right? Um, and our daily life um, routines have been changed, right? Um, but the last couple of days, it's been very interesting energy, almost shifting and changing from 
morning to evening and, and quite fast. Um, and in fact, yesterday, uh, the weather here was interesting. We went from sunny to cold, rainy, freezing rain, back to sunny, really windy last night for a little bit and rain. Um, and so I don't know if you guys are noticing those things. So this medication this morning um, really is going to be very helpful to those of us that need um, a bit of grounding and uh, the centering piece, okay? And uh, just as a reminder um, that this meditation, and most of them like it, doesn't matter if I'm doing them or not, um, are about 12 hours, depending on what you ingest, including music, reading, um, of course, any kind of food or beverage, um, thoughts, those kinds of things. If it's a lower vibration, it's going to start to weaken the field a little bit sooner. So you'll want to uh, do another grounding, centering, and um, protecting meditation in 12 hours. Okay, And we've got almost a month worth of recorded ones here at Star Nations. Just go to, if you're on your laptop, look at the, the buttons on, along the side, the tools along the side, and just click videos, and you're going to see them all come up. And you can choose whatever one you need if you need assistance, okay? All right, so let's see who's all here so we can get uh, going. And I know I saw Christine pop in early. Good morning, Christina. Karen's here. Rochelle is here. Jane is here. Good morning, ladies. Stephanie is here. Good morning, Stephanie. Rochelle is here. Oh, by the way, Stephanie, I didn't, I forgot to do the groups. <laughs> Sucker. And Rochelle, good morning. Good morning. Marie is here. Good morning. Happy Tuesday to you, too. And Karen says, appreciate the reminder. That's just how I popped in. Oh, good. Great, great. And Rochelle has said she shared. Thank you, Rochelle. Hey, Janet's here too. Hey, you. She says, need some grounding today. All right. Well, we'll get right to that. Mary is here. Good morning, Mary. Uh, Stephanie is saying sheer exhaustion. Yes. There's, um, I think it's because our physical bodies are shifting and changing. Our spiritual bodies have already done the shift and the change. Um, our mental body and our physical body sometimes are the last ones to get the message, <laughs> right? And sometimes it does, um, even if you're getting eight hours sleep, sometimes you feel really exhausted, right? And as an empath, um, that also has something to do with it as well. Good morning, Annie. Mary says, good morning. Uh, Karen said, I reached out to my local shaman for extra help and grounding yesterday. Oh, good. Good for you. It's always good to, to ask for assistance. And thank you, Stephanie. And see, one of my sisters popped in. Thank you, Christine. Um, and in fact, Christine, I, I invited all the sisters um, to be here. If you can, you know, um, I know that um, you probably felt me and felt the call uh, just to help us um, hold the, the space this morning. So, in fact, look who wanted to show up and help out. Right, let's see if I can get this into the... This is a dodecahedron. No, I'm sorry. That's not right. This is an icosahedron. It's water. Uh, get it in the frame. Yeah. Usually sitting on my, my altar. And uh, when I was lighting the altar, it's like, I want to I wanna be down there by you. <laughs> so I, um, I'm holding it. All right. So good morning, Robin. And Lynn just showed up. Good morning, ladies. And uh, good morning, Lynn. Okay, so as most of you know, um, how to get ready and prepared for this meditation. Um, if you're seated, you want both feet flat on the floor, right? And your, your spine or your back as straight as possible. That might mean that you might have to scooch up a little bit on the chair to have your feet on the floor. Um, arms and legs uncrossed. If you're sitting on the floor like I am, you'd like to be sitting with your legs straight out so that you're an open circuit, okay? Um, be comfortable. It's about a 15, 20 minute meditation. Um, you can lie down if you wish. Um, if you do, protect your lower back. Um, you can lie on the floor, couch, bed. As long as you can hear my voice, it's all that really matters. Um, in fact, I'm gonna make sure my sound is turned up. Oops, up, oh, not down, there we go. Um, you can stand if you wish. 
<laughs> I've done parts of this meditation standing. Um, if you make sure you have something you can hold on to. If you're somebody who likes to close their eyes, some sometimes we lose our balance when we do that. It's just to be safe. Just make sure it's, you have something near you that you can steady you. Okay. Christina is saying, uh, very emotional as well. Tears are flowing today. Lots of grief on the planet. Um, yeah. There's um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of cleansing going on. That is for sure. Um, and because there's also a um, another level, another phase, if you will, of fear and panic as well, because um, it's uh, the economic piece, right? It's um, um, people who haven't been to work in four to six weeks, and now they're being told, you know, they have another month of... Um, uh, being safe in place, right? And, uh, yeah. And so, but that, it's all for, for a divine purpose, right? And when we're grounded, centered, and protected, um, we can meet those kinds of things that would generally knock you off balance, where you're going to be much more stable and coming from a place of, of steady and, um, empowered okay and as empaths we certainly are on the front line when that when that wave hit um yesterday um with the realization is what we have another four weeks of this <laughs> right and you can see it you know it, my mom tells me about this because i don't watch it um about the the uh protesting that's being done in different parts of the world um trying to get things opened up um business is done so yeah and um, I lost my place here. Oh, sorry about that, guys. i got to scroll up. Deanna says, good morning to you, too, Deanna. Janet saying, is that, that way I feel so bad? Probably. Jules has joined us. Yay. Rob's here. Good morning, Rob. And Lynn says, I feel bad, but all the protesters are, are putting out front line of workers at risk. That's true. That is true. Um, but it also moves a lot of um, souls into making a decision. What kind of energy? They probably don't put it like that. This is this is our vocabulary, right? This is our words. They, they're put in a position to have to choose um, their, how they're going to feel, what they're going to think, right? Um, and so there's another phase of cleansing, if you will. Um, and uh, And so here we are, right? And as empaths, we... Um, we don't, not all of us are meant to do the heavy lifting, um, but we can certainly help. And every time you light a candle, every time you say a prayer, you're putting um, higher energy out into the ethers so that those that are doing the heavy lifting, um, we're helping them, we're supporting them, we're hold, helping to hold that container, right, for them. So it, everything we do is, is uh, necessary and, and good. And so Lynn says, uh, no, dread that one. Hey, Di Diane, good to have you here. All right, so let's get started. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to be asking you to take a deep breath in just a moment, okay? And in that deep breath, in that deep breath, you're going to really fill up your lungs. It's kind of like belly breathing for those who are familiar with that. Your tummy is going to come out a bit, and so is your diaphragm. You want to take in as much oxygen as you possibly can from the bottom to the top all right and at the top of that breath you're going to hold it just for a moment and on the exhale you're going to blow it out forcibly okay um and if you've never done this or it's been a long time since you've done this you may end up coughing and that's okay that's okay it's normal okay just go ahead do your coughing get it out um and then when you can is to do that that deep breath again okay all right Francesca is saying I've definitely been feeling the shifts lately yes and I want to say Francesca in the last probably 24 hours um, maybe 48 maybe 48 it has been most definitely the last 24 has been pretty um, noticeable for a lot of people um, even though they they might not know what to to call it right? Or to, to point at it and say, that's, this is it. Um, they know that there's been some change. 
they're feeling it. Okay, so here we go. Taking a nice, big, deep breath in, really filling up your lungs from the bottom to the top. And at the top of that breath, just holding it just for a moment and then exhaling. Good. I feel like we, we, we kind of sprung that one on you guys. So we're going to do it again, okay? Big deep breath in, really filling up your lungs. Holding it just for a second and exhaling. There we go. Good. We're going to do that one more time. Okay. One more time. Big, deep breath in. Holding it. And exhaling. Good. Now just breathing easy and naturally. In a moment, I'll be asking you to call your birth name, your full name, in the four directions. Okay. If you have a married name, you can add your married name onto your birth name. If you have a spirit name, you can use your spirit name. If you're a walk-in, I suggest that you use the body's original name and then your walk-in name if you've changed it. Okay? calling all aspects of yourself home to you. So here we go. We're going to be calling in the east, south, west, and north. All right. You can do it out loud or quietly to yourself. It's up to you. Calling your name in the four directions. Good. Now imagine, imagine gathering, gathering all of those aspects of yourself that you just called home and bringing them into your heart. So you're as present in this moment as you possibly can be. Good. Very good. Taking a nice, easy, deep breath in, and on the exhale, turning your attention to a night sky. To grandfather's sky. Gamisho Mase Nan in Paduatami. And bringing to you all of those images that you just love and appreciate about Father, Grandfather Sky. The stars. The moon. The sun. Perhaps blue skies. Or puffy white clouds. Rainbows. Thunder and lightning. The Creator, God, Goddess, the Great Mystery, 
the prime creator, the central sun. And noticing how much you love and appreciate Grandfather Sky. And telling Grandfather Sky that you love him. Grandfather Sky, I love you. Grandfather, Misha, I love you. I love you. And asking Grandfather Sky to send you blessings and love. Sensing, feeling, seeing the Creator's love and blessings coming to you as a golden sparkling light flowing down to you through the top of your head, through your crown chakra, flowing down through your third eye, down through your throat chakra, flowing down through your high heart, the Creator's golden sparkling light of love and blessings, flowing down through your heart chakra, down through your solar plexus, and your sacral chakra. The Creator's golden sparkling light of love and blessings flowing down through your root chakra. And down through both hips down through your thighs, through your knees, flowing down through your calves, and through your ankles, down into your feet. And with your intention, sending the Creator's golden sparkling light of love and blessings flowing down through your insteps and both feet down into Grandmother Earth, down to her core, to her heart, connected you to Grandmother Earth. Sensing, feeling, seeing the golden sparkling light of love and blessings from the Creator flowing through you with a gentle spiral clockwise for women, counterclockwise for men. Gentle spiral of that golden sparkling light flowing down through you, all the way down to Grandmother Earth's heart, balancing you, centering you, 
grounding you to Grandmother Earth. Take in a nice, easy, deep breath in. And as you exhale, turning your attention to Grandmother Earth and bringing to you all of those images that you just love and appreciate about Grandmother Earth. Hok Mis Kikan, our Grandmother Earth. Nature. All things green. The tree people. The stone people. All bodies of water. the wind, nature spirits, the devas and elementals, those who fly, those who swim, those who crawl, the four-legged, and the two-legged. Your children, your grandchildren, nieces and nephews, parents and grandparents, your beloved, dear friends, your pets, all of great of the grandmothers, grandmother Earth's children, all of them. Noticing how much you love her, grandmother Earth. And telling her how much you love her, grandmother Earth. Kokamis Kikan, I love you. Grandmother, I love you. I love you. And asking Grandmother Earth to send you her love and blessings as a green sparkling light. Sensing, feeling, seeing Grandmother Earth's love and blessings flowing to you and that green sparkling light coming up through the bottom of your feet up through your ankles and your calves up through your knees 
and your thighs. Up through both your hips. Grandmother Earth's green sparkling light of love and blessings flowing up through your root chakra. Through your sacral chakra. And your solar plexus. Grandmother Earth's green sparkling light of love and blessings flowing up through your heart chakra and your high heart. Up through your throat chakra. And your third eye. Up through your crown chakra, through the top of your head. Grandmother Earth's green sparkling light of love and blessings flowing through you. And with your intention, sending this love and blessings up to the sun. Up to Grandfather Sky, connecting you to him. Up to the creator, God, goddess, the great mystery, the prime creator, up to the central sun, becoming the connection between heaven and earth. Noticing how much Grandmother Earth loves you and how much Grandfather Sky loves you and how much you love them. The Divine Father, the Divine Mother, and you, their Divine Child, creating the Holy Trinity right here on Earth. Taking a nice, easy, deep breath in. And as you exhale, calling to you, your spiritual team, asking them to come close. Your guides, guardians, angels, teachers, allies, your power animals and totems, nature spirits, your ancestors, star beings, your full spiritual team to come close. And asking those on your spiritual team who assists you with your protection to create the circle of protection around you, 360 degrees, in all frequencies, time and space and dimensions, Allowing in only those energies that are meant for your highest good. And asking your guardian angel to step forward. To be your bouncer. To double check all energies flowing into the circle of protection that they are indeed meant for your highest good. And anything less than that to be removed and transmuted to love upon release. And if necessary, to have them escorted to a plane justly earned.
now is a good time, an opportunity to ask your spiritual team for any assistance, any help that they can do for you to ask them. Nothing's too small or too large to ask their assistance. And I'll give you a moment to do that. thanking them take it a nice easy deep breath in and as you exhale coming back to the present time back to the room in your home to my meditation room or the medicine room as it's called and we're prepared we're prepared to meet our day or our evening. No matter how the energy unfolds for us, coming from a place of being grounded, centered, and protected, a place of empowerment and strength. To do our work, right? To take care of not just ourselves, but also our family, our friends, our community, um, to do our soul work. To do our soul work, which is good. Excellent. Just checking to see. Mary says, I was wondering what was going on. Thank you, Jean. You're welcome. Very welcome. And apologies for, I forgot to turn off the phone. The house phone. <laughs> Rats. I don't know who that was. And uh, the messages that were coming in on my phone. I don't, it's like all of a sudden, somebody, everybody wanted to get a hold of me. Okay, so um, you guys are set. Um, remember to do your meditation again in 12 hours, okay? And uh, I tell you what, we're, we're going to make it through this as best we can. And we're all learning so much from it, aren't we? Even those of us that have been around the, the spiritual block a few times... <laughs> We've been awake on our path for decades. We're still learning. We're still um, remembering and actually talking about, you know, we talked about this like 20 years ago and here it is, right? And so all of that preparation work that we did, all of that deep healing work that we did um, is got us in a position that we can be um, of service, right? We can do our, our soul work in the best way possible. Yeah. All right, so Mary, uh, let's see, no, Marie, sorry. She says, woo, first time I did with crystals. Thank you, you're welcome, you're welcome. And uh, thanking those crystals, because they really helped you, huh? Lynn says, had a long time uh, with my spirit there. Yes, good, excellent, asking them for help. Robin says, thank you, you're welcome. And Mary says, oh, Mother Earth saying, hello. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. So true. And then tomorrow, tomorrow is Earth Day, you know. Um, so depending on where you're at and um, what you're capable of doing, because, you know, there's so many of us that would normally go and do, you know, um, big events and that sort of thing, and that's not going to happen this year. I don't think so. But that doesn't mean that we can't do something in our own backyard, right? That doesn't mean that we, we um, can't take a, a garbage bag with us and pick up trash or pick up recycling, that kind of thing, um, to clean up. Gra Grandmother Earth has sent us to our room <laughs> and, you know, to think about what we've done, right? And then to clean it up, clean up our room. And so many ways that means that we're minding our own vibration, right? Minding our own vibration. And so... Um, Tomorrow, um, we got lots of things going on for you guys. We do. Um, let's see. Let's start with tonight first because <laughs> it starts tonight. My show at 7 p.m. Central, 8 
Eastern, uh, Communications from Home. Um, we're going to be spending some time with Grandmother Earth and doing some drumming for her. Okay, so bring your drums. But first, I have a special guest tonight. Um, her name is Stephanie Ebert, and she is one of the co-founders of uh, Social Distance Pow Wow. If you guys haven't seen it, um, we're going to have to get you the link. It's on Facebook. Um, and so she's going to come and have a chat with us. Um, and I just want to introduce her to you guys and, uh, and share a bit about why we, why they even started the online powwow. Okay. And, uh, then we'll do some, um, some drumming for grandmother earth after, after we're finished talking with, um, Stephanie. Um, so that's tonight, Tuesday night. And we get started at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Um, tomorrow, Wednesday, which is Earth Day, um, we do have Minnie Kansman with us in the afternoon at 4 p.m. Eastern time for Nature Connections. And she's going to be sharing some things about Grandmother Earth with us. Um, and then we have um, Soul Connections with Polly Jola Bay at 7 p.m. Um, on Wednesday evening for Soul Connections, uh, healing and um Divine messages, right? Yeah. Thursday, chakra sessions. Um, oh, and I got to back up. Let's see. Wait. Yeah. So um, chakra sessions at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And then right after, right after Polly Joe's show, she's going to flow right into her class. April 23rd um, is her multidimensional um, manifesting with your inner child. Her class. You guys still have time to register for it, um, and it's going to be a good one. Let me tell you, because I've gotten a sneak peek. <laughs> it's going to be good. Okay, so enjoy. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday, and hopefully we'll see you tonight for communications from home. Okay? All right. Bama Mina. That's Potawatomi for Until We See Each Other Again. Love you guys.